It's the talk of the property. It's the talk of Las Vegas. Anyone who talks about restaurants at Resorts World immediately mentions Wally's. The place is mesmerizing, it's jaw-dropping, it is one of the most unique and coolest restaurant concepts I've ever come across. I had a chance to really explore the menu from the wine to the cocktails to some famous menu items such as their $100 chicken. In this video, I'm gonna talk about its style, the menu, the food, the experience, and what makes this place so special. So Wally's is located in the district area of Resorts World. That's where all the high-end restaurants, bars, nightlife venues are. And Wally's is right in the middle of it. It's right off the casino floor, so you literally can't miss it. And even if you do miss it, just look for the giant orb. That giant orb is right across from Wally's, and it has to be one of the most mesmerizing, spectacular, and mind-blowing attractions you're gonna see in Las Vegas. I could watch that thing for hours, and you could actually watch that while you eat if you decide to eat at the outside patio portion of Wally's. So you walk into Wally's, and that's when you realize how unique and special it is. It is wine mania. There is $80 million worth of wine at the Resorts World Las Vegas location. $80 million of wine at Wally's. The rows of wine go on and on and on forever. I walked through those rows while I was waiting for some of my food, and I couldn't even make a dent. If I was a wine aficionado, I would spend hours in there. Even if you're not a wine lover, you have to appreciate it. Just the way it is arranged and organized makes the restaurant so special and so classy. They also have liquor and champagne. And then in the back of Wally's, there is a legitimate and standalone market where you can buy rare cheeses, meats, and caviar. So I sit down and it is a wine place and I want to see how good they were at their wine selection. So I asked if they had a French Pinot Noir by the glass. Now this is something I'm always on the lookout for is a good French Pinot Noir by the glass. If I walk into 10 high-end restaurants, one is going to have a French Pinot Noir by the glass. Wally's had eight. That's right, eight Pinot Noirs by the glass. One of them was $1,200 per glass. So they had one of my favorite ones on the menu. It was Au Volnay. It was in 2015, and it was light and effervescent, but still complex for a Pinot Noir. But also, if you're not a big wine person, uh, Wally's also has some really good mixed drinks. It's not all about the wine. The wine is kind of the focal point. It's the bedrock of the restaurant, but there is so much more, including awesome mixed drinks. I decided with the Ultimo, uh, this drink is gorgeous. I love the way how that cucumber wraps around the perimeter and the top of the drink. It was light, it was crisp, it was refreshing. It was a perfect early afternoon and pre-dinner drink. It reminded me a little bit of a Cucumber Collins, but much more dynamic, especially considering it had a smoky mezcal base. Appetizer number one, this is the burrata. Burrata is usually a simple dish. Typically it is cheese and tomatoes and a little bit of balsamic. This burrata was next level. It came on a base of watermelon, the watermelon made it pop both aesthetically and from a taste perspective. It also came with an aged balsamic, which really gave it a bold finish. And then it was surrounded by a beautiful moat of basil oil. For a burrata, the presentation is pretty over the top. It came out layered and stacked. It was topped off by an edible flower. From both a beauty and taste perspective, this is one of the greatest burratas of all time. Dish number two is one of my favorite dishes of all time, but it's only been on the channel once or twice. And that's because it's rare. I just hardly come across it. And when I see it, I buy it with conviction, no questions asked. Uh, that is the tuna niswa salad. Now, I was amazed by the size of this because usually when I order a niswa, it comes out in a very small serving. This thing was humongous for a niswa salad. My favorite thing about a niswa is how all the individual random ingredients come together and form this really unique flavor. It's hard to get excited about a salad. But I'm told that every single salad at Wally's is pretty unbelievable. So on my third dish, I wanted to order something that was a bit more approachable and a bit more basic and casual, just to kind of see how they did more kind of convenience type of food. And I was blown away by this pizza. So on paper, this pizza is my everything. And my expectations were actually really low. I mean, I'm at a restaurant. It's not even an Italian place. And it was only $24. I was actually expecting a very small pizza and really expecting a flatbread. I'll say it right now, this is one of the very best pizzas I've ever had in Las Vegas and absolutely the best pizza that I've ever ordered in a high-end restaurant. It came out with an elevated hand-tossed crust, but it was actually really light and airy and effervescent. This thing was overloaded with cheese. If I was not limited by reach, I feel this cheese would have stretched all the way to the ceiling. It just had a copious amount of cheese on it. The house-made tomato sauce was bold with a little bit of zest. Uh, the combination of the salty and spicy calabrese with the sweetness of the honey gave it a sweet and salty and spicy type of finish. That's my favorite. 
and you can see it was just cooked to perfection with just a little bit of char on the crust. I know it sounds strange saying that Wally's has one of the best pizzas in all of Las Vegas, but trust me, go there, order this pizza. I promise you, if you're a pizza lover, you will not be disappointed. And for $24, I actually thought it was a great value. And this is it, the $100 chicken. That's right, a $100 chicken. I've never seen anything so absurd or outrageous in terms of chicken on a menu before. Typically, when you go to high-end restaurants, you don't see a lot of chicken. Typically, it is quail or dove or duck or pheasant, but usually the higher end or the classier the restaurant, the less likely you're going to find chicken. While they threw that conventional thinking out the window, they said, not only are we going to give you a giant chicken, a whole chicken, we're going to make it the best chicken ever, and it was. This was the greatest and best chicken I've ever had in my entire life. They slow cooked it for 40 minutes. So if you are going to order this thing, order it right away when you walk in because it's going to take at least 40 minutes to get to your table. It is served on a mattress of fingerling potatoes and broccolini. The truffle chicken au jus makes it shimmer and glimmer. And of course, it comes topped with shaved truffle. It was slow roasted and cooked to perfection. The meat gently and poetically fell off the bone. And one of the coolest things is that they pre-cut the chicken for you. They kind of quarter it out for you. So you're not stuck at the table fumbling and struggling to cut up a giant chicken. Yes, a $100 chicken is outlandish. It is outrageous. It is crazy. But I thought it was a fantastic value. It could feed two, three, even four. And plus, you could take the rest home and eat off it for the next few days. That's precisely what I did. So at this point, my belt buckle is loosened a few notches. I don't even know if I can stand up straight. This meal has come together perfectly. And usually when a meal comes together this perfectly, I keep the momentum going. So I take a look at the dessert menu and I look for anything that is unique or special or that I've never seen before. And wouldn't you know, lo and behold, Wally's had something for me. I immediately scroll down to the bottom of the dessert menu and I see a chocolate board. Now Wally's, if you did not know, they are really known for their cheese boards and their meat boards. And this is their take on that, but it's dessert. It is a chocolate board. It comes with assorted dark and milk chocolates. It has fruits and nuts. It is their most expensive dessert at $29. And in fact, it's almost double the price of every other dessert. But it's so unique. When are you ever going to see a chocolate board as a dessert? And it was also relatively light. It's not going to bog you down like some of those super filling and heavy desserts. I think fruits and chocolate is such a simple yet classy and elegant way to finish a high-end meal. So you can see why Wally's is so unique and why it is the most popular high-end restaurant here at Resorts World. It's an unforgettable dining experience, and I think no matter if you are a food novice or a food expert, you're going to leave Wally's not only hyper-impressed, but leaving having one of the best meals you can get in all of Las Vegas.